Today, we're going to look at the Lions' salary cap heading into 2022. Let's Talk Lions. Welcome back to an all-new episode here at Let's Talk Lions. My name is Jay, and this right here is Osiris Bellhorn, a hill dwarf cleric. You heard it right. Today's video comes at the request of Patreon subscriber Ian Saunders. Ian reached out just asking to uh, have me explain a little bit about dead cap money, the salary cap, specifically looking at the Lions heading into this 2022 season. So Ian, thank you for your question. Thank you for your constant support via Patreon and this channel. Basic understanding of the NFL salary cap is this. This year, 2021, the cap was at 182 million. And that's really, it took a step down from where we were expecting it to go uh, due to COVID. So this year, 2021, it was at about 182 mil. Now, the thing about football is there is a cap. It is a salary cap. It's unlike baseball. This is very much like Hey, here is your number. This is where you guys need to be at. Uh, there, there are some variables that might uh, deal with a team being over the cap for a season. We're not going to get into that. Very specifically, though, there is a cap. There's a limit. That limit is all 32 teams across the board in order to create a fairness amongst teams. Because if you're the Yankees back in the late 90s, you just have so much money in the city of New York with your owner. You just, you could you get any player you want. Jason Giambi. I mean, you just pull them all in. Can't believe I just said the name Jason Giambi on this channel. You could just bring in anybody you want with the amount of money that you have compared to small market teams that don't have that dollar space. How can you compete? So that's kind of where the NFL seeks a fairness and equality in Every team gets 182 mil in 2021. Do with it what you will. Again, there are a lot of variables that I'm not going to be getting into. There's a lot of asterisks, just a basic understanding. Now, there's also something called dead cap, dead weight, dead money. You've probably heard it all three ways, maybe a few other ways. That is money that a team has to pay for a player that they cut before the contract ends and or trades before their contract ends. A great example is Jared Goff from Matt Stafford. Jared Goff coming to the Lions was paid about $20, $22 million from the Rams of their own money. They had to pay him while he played for Detroit. Okay, that is dead money. They got rid of him before his contract ended and in doing so they said, all right, we got $22 million of dead money that we gotta pay for a guy who's gonna go play for another city. So that is where you will hear teams talk about, oh, well, we have $8 million in dead cap. That's what dead cap is. It's players that are either sitting on the couch at home or playing in another uniform that are not repping your city that you still have to pay because it's guaranteed. So moving into 2022, the NFL's projected cap is $208 million, roughly. The Lions specifically heading into 2022 have $8 million of dead cap money. So that 208 heading into 2022 just got bottlenecked down a little bit to 200. Is this making sense? I feel like a math teacher. I was never very good at math. Another thing to consider, the Lions have $1 million of unused money from 2021 that gets to roll over into 2022. So now that 200 million just got bumped up a little bit. You see how we're playing this game? Little fluctuation out there. As of today, the Detroit Lions have about $35 million of cap space. Gives us $35 million to work with our free agents, our free agents, looking at other teams' free agents. 35 million of wiggle room. But this is when this is when it starts getting tough because you start looking at dollar bills and you start associating that with players and it's like a portal that opens and you're like, all right, who can we cut in order to save money? Who's going to hit us with dead cap if we get rid of them? All of a sudden, things get tricky. A great example, Trey Flowers. Flowers, according to Sport Track, takes up the second most dollar bills on the Detroit Lions payroll. He takes up 11% of our salary cap. Now, if we cut flowers before June 1st, before June 1st, we're going to take a $12 million dead cap hit. So that's money that we still got to pay. 
However, our cap size opens up to about 10 million. After June 1st, if we cut flowers, again, cut, not trade, cut flowers, you're looking at a $7 million dead cap hit. So rather than that 12 mil, now you're looking at 7 mil. And in the same way, after June 1st, that cap savings is going to be about $16 million. So now you have to start considering, all right, do we cut a guy before June 1st? Do we cut him after? Free agency. Can we get somebody to replace? And that money, is it all going to equal out? It is a tricky, tricky business. It becomes very nitty gritty. And you start diving deeper than Stephen Curtis Chapman ever did. Come on, let's go. The Lions have a long list of free agents, and we're not going to get into that. I just wanted to give you all a basic understanding of salary cap, the Lions salary cap, heading into this time. This way that you guys can start looking at free agents, start looking at guys on our, because we have 34 free agents sitting there. Then there's free agents from every other team open and available uh, for the Lions to potentially sign. And so the Lions have $35 million. What are we going to do with that? That's what this video was about today, just to start getting your minds cooking like a fried egg. Hopefully this is helpful. If it's just a lot of jargon to you, that's okay. That's okay. Just, you know, ask me questions and I'll try to answer it. And if it's unhelpful, if it's if it's not helpful, eh, that's the way it is. Open up to page 181 in your player's handbook, chapter 8, I do believe. There you'll find out everything you ever need to know regarding adventuring. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's more on you than it is on me. <laughs>